So imagine that you are scrolling through GitHub and you see a cool project. This is a Create React app and Cloudflare workers application. And you know you might think, wow, this is really cool. I wanna deploy a version of this to my Cloudflare workers account. So we're super excited to announce deploy.workers.cloudflare.com, which is a way to deploy Cloudflare workers applications using GitHub Actions. So I clicked on the deploy button here. I'm now on the deploy site and I just have a couple steps and really only about five minutes or so to get this project deployed up on a URL and ready to go with my Cloudflare workers account. So to start, I'll authorize workers. You can see there's this deploy to Cloudflare workers application and it's just going to install on my public repositories, meaning that it's only gonna be able to access my personal projects. So not all of my organization's projects or anything like that. It just has access to my account um, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. So next I have this uh, you know, configure section. I'm just gonna provide my account ID and my API token. We provided instructions on how to find both of those as well as links to really get you right to where you need to be um, to get those values. Though for now, I'll just fill these in real quick off camera. So with my Cloudflare account set up, it's time to get started deploying the actual project. And this is really only a couple steps. First, I'm just gonna fork the repository. So that happened in the background, super, super quick. And with my new forked repository, I'm gonna go in and enable GitHub Actions on this. So, you know, it's forked. You can see it's signal nerve slash Cloudflare worker CRA. It's forked from the original um, project that I was looking at. I'm just going to enable GitHub Actions. You can see now I'm on the Actions page. There's no uh, workflows running. And I'll come back here and say workflows are enabled. Now I'm on my last step before I'm able to deploy the project. Uh, you can see it says deploy to workers. This will initiate a deployment and your application will be running on workers shortly. So let's deploy that. And you can see it's now started the deployment process. So, uh, you know, celebrate, you're now deploying to workers. So you can see uh, it's now deploying. It's going to check the workflow status for me. So it's just gonna, you know, GitHub Actions is gonna do its thing. If I open up a uh, that previous Actions page here, you can see it's actually running. So it's deploying, it started 20 seconds ago. And I'll come back here in just a minute when it's finished deploying and we can go and look at the application. In the meantime, if I come back here, you can see that it's updated here in the UI to let me know that the workflow is now running. So if something goes wrong, say the workflow fails, I'll know here. And once it's completed, I'll obviously know as well. So I'm gonna hang tight here for a sec and just keep an eye out for when the workflow has successfully built. Okay, and you can see just a couple minutes later, my build has successfully finished and my application has been deployed. And so there's a couple things I can do here now. I think the first thing we'll do is go and see the application uh, actually deployed on a URL. So I go to my workers page and you can see that I have this Cloudflare worker CRA, it's deployed. And at some point here in the future, I'll get analytics. So when people start to view the application, I can see you know, how many people are viewing it, how many of those requests are successful and things like that. But I can also go and look at the application. So I've deployed it. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. It's Cloudflare Worker CRA uh, on my workers dev subdomain. So it's successfully deployed it using GitHub Actions um, without me having to have any sort of, I didn't install our command line tool locally. I didn't really do any uh, configuration besides just let uh, the application connect to GitHub and just do its thing. So there are a lot of really cool applications that we're hoping to get working with the deploy to Cloudflare Workers uh, application that we built. If you have one of those projects, you should go and check out the developer guide, which I'll put in the description of this video. Um, there's just a couple steps you need to add to your project to allow other people to deploy it with Cloudflare Workers. And some projects, just as a heads up, you may need to go after you've set up the deploy and stuff like that, you may need to go and customize things in your forked repository. Um, so, you know, for every project, uh, sometimes it, the deploy isn't as straightforward as this one. Um, but even for really complex things, which I have a number of on my personal uh, repository, I found that this is a super, super easy way to deploy things um, that is a lot better in most cases. If I'm just trying to get something up, 
uh, you know, just like try and spin up a React application or something like that. Uh, I find it's a lot more straightforward than having to, you know, clone things locally and, and do all of that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in checking out the deploy application, I will put it in the description of the video. Um, and we hope that you enjoy it. It's been a really fun project to work on and we're super excited to uh, get more people deploying interesting stuff on workers um, using this functionality. Thanks.